has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height, and some differences in reach. All right, we send it back Ladies inside the octagon here. This yes, is first the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, a warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Just a slip there. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh! He's just serve him up. Go get him. Oh! 
Oh, he might be out. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Lunges forward with a left there. Three minutes to go. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, perfect head kick there. Kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice check on the leg kick offer right there. Great. Whoa! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Fifteen seconds. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Superman punches true. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Target there. Big leg kick lands. All right, it's time to start using that low kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. There's no gills on that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Some fighters shy away 
from Check in a leg kick. Check that one. Big kick land. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Throws the right hand there. 20 seconds left. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. That's how you finish your fight. Wow! Oh, what a fight so far. This man can do anything, okay? More of the same. This guy can't do anything to you anywhere. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good punch, Lance. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Big roundhouse now just misses. Big kick. Whoa! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Gets up again here, but hurting. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and show. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. 
but the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Just missed with the left there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Two minutes now to go. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Under a minute now to go in the round. Leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Good night if that landed. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Strike. Well, he continues to land a high. Oh. Who's hurt? We'll get him. Back to the feet. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right. He's hurt! He's hurt! What a body kick. Just 
Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today looking at both defense in his opponent. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ninety seconds and counting remain in the fight. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Nice. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. One minute to go in the fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful punch. Whoa! All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-25. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of this.